Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. And make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 20 to the power of 8. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 20 to the power of 8. Now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So now I have x times log 2. I simply moved x to the front. I'm going to do the same with 8. So then I have equals 8 times log 20. So now I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So then these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to 8 log 20 over log 2. Now 20 we can rewrite as 10 times 2. So I have this over log 2. And now if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, log 10 times 2, that's going to equal log 10 plus log 2. Now I have this over log 2. So now, if I go ahead and distribute the 8 here to both of these terms, I get x is equal to 8 times log 10 is 8 log 10 plus 8 times log 2, that's going to be 8 log 2. And I have this over log 2. So now this is equal to 8 log 10 over log 2 plus 8 log 2 over log 2. So now these two log 2's cancel out. So now I'm left with, and log 10, that's equal to 1. So I have 8 over log 2 plus 8. Now log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301. So now I have 8 over 0 0.301 plus 8. So now 8 over 0 0.301, that's equal to 26.578. Now I have this plus 8 which is equal to 34.578. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25. So 50 to the power of 50 over 25 to the power of 25, this is the same thing as 50 to the power of 25 plus 25 over 25 to the power of 25 because 50 here is the same thing as 25 plus 25. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 25 plus 25, which is the same thing as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25. Now I have this over 25 to the power of 25. Now, this is the same thing as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 to the power of 25 over 25 to the power of 25. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of n over b to the power of n, this is simply equal to a over b to the power of n. So it's essentially factoring out the exponent. So in this case, I have 50 to the power of 25 over 25 to the power of 25. So now I can rewrite this as 50 to the power of 25 times 50 over 25 to the power of 25. Now, 50 over 25, this is the same thing as 2. 
So now this is equal to 50 to the power of 25 times 2 to the power of 25. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to, or sorry, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this is equal to a times b to the power of m. So in this case, this is going to equal 50 times 2 to the power of 25. Now 50 times 2 is 100, so now I have 100 to the power of 25. And 100, this is the same thing as 10 squared. So now I have 10 squared to the power of 25. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 times 25 is 50, so I have 10 to the power of 50. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 40 to the power of 40 over 20 to the power of 20. Now to start, I can rewrite this as 40 to the power of 20 plus 20 over 20 to the power of 20. So all I did was I rewrite 40 here as 20 plus 20 because 40 is equal to 20 plus 20. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 40 to the power of 20 plus 20 I can rewrite as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20. And now I have this over 20 to the power of 20. So now I can rewrite this as 40 to the power of 20 times 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20. So I simply just took out the 40 to the power of 20, so it's just simply like this. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of n over b to the power of n, this is equal to a over b to the power of n. So in this case, I have 40 to the power of 20 over 20 to the power of 20, and I can rewrite this as 40 over 20 to the power of 20. Now 40 over 20, that's simply equal to 2. So now I have 40 to the power of 20 times 2 to the power of 20. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times b to the power of m, this can be written as a times b to the power of m. So in this case, a is equal to 40, b is equal to 2, and m is equal to 20. So I have a times b to the power of m, so I have 40 times 2 to the power of m, which is 20. So now, 40 times 2, this is equal to 80. So now I have 80 to the power of 20. And this is actually the most we can simplify this. So 80 to the power of 20 is our answer.